Upon opening your box, the first thing you want to do is lay out all the pieces. Here I've just put them on a bed that's below the fan. Um, and you can also put them on a table, any flat surface. And then you want to take a look at this first page in the instructions and become familiar with the names they're using for the different parts. Prior to the installation, you need to decide whether you want to go with a standard ceiling mount or a flush. In this particular video, I will be explaining how to do a flush ceiling mount. Our first instruction is to remove this mounting bracket from the top part of the motor housing. And you'll notice there's a keyed entry here for this screw and this one and this one. But one over here, it's just a single hole. So you'll want to remove this screw and remove this screw and then just loosen the other two. And you can take your pick. I'll probably just loosen these two and remove the two on opposite sides. Now that I've removed two of the screws and the other two are loosened, I can take and move this structure by just kind of flipping it uh, sideways like this. You can see it sliding in the keyed opening. And then I'll just pull this up and out like this. And I can slide that wire all the way through there. Now that I have the mounting bracket taken off of the fan motor, I need to remove this here thing called the collar. It's not going to be needed in a flush mount, so it looks like I have six screws to remove to get that to come out. To remove this mounting collar, there's a cotter pin right here. You need to take a pliers, needle nose pliers, and pull that out. And then you can slide this pin out to take these two screws out too. I can just finger loosen them. And there we go. That all dropped out. And that's what we need in order to mount it to the ceiling. So we're going to take the mounting bracket. I'm going to pull the wires that are coming out of the ceiling through the center hole, threading everything through that I can. And then when I get up here, I need to locate the screw that I'm going to go into with this bolt. Well, it took a little doing, but you can see I have the two bolts hooked into the electrical box now I simply have to tighten them until this flush is tied up against the ceiling. Now you may not have this situation, but you'll notice inside the sender, you can see switches 1, 2, 3, 4. It looks like they come all flipped on from the factory. But since I have two of these fans, I do not want one of them interfering with the other. So I flipped switch 4 off in the receiver when I put it into the fan housing and I flipped it off here in the sender. So that's just something you might need to do. So take a look at how we're going to do this. I put the two-sided sticky tape here because that's going to touch down inside of this unit and we're going to push it down in there so it can't move anymore. And it's wedged in there good and tight. And the kind of bump that's coming out of this receiver is facing down and that's the way it's supposed to be. Now this is according to the instructions I got over the online help. You may be confused by all of this wire that they've given you and this is in case you have a high extension pole that's bringing it down. We're going to only need, you know, maybe nine inches of it. I'll be a little bit generous and I'll snip it out here. And then after I've done that, um, I'm going to use my wire stripper to strip this away and have the copper leads ready to go. There I go. I'll do that for each one of them. 
This next step is a little tricky, but you're going to take the fan motor and you're going to lift it above your head and you're going to hook it and I would suggest hooking it through one of these longer eyelets. Here we go. I'm going to lift it up here. I'm going to just dangle it like that. But when you connect those wires, there's labeling on each wire that indicates where the connection will go. And this last one is not a wire, it's an antenna. So don't cut that and try and strip it or anything or you'll ruin your receiver. When you do your wiring, I would recommend this. Make sure you have the wires bare near the end. And I like to give them a twist and braid them a little bit so they're not all fraying. And then notice I've cut two pieces of electrical tape, a short one and a longer one. Then what I'll do is I'll take and I'll twist these together. And when I get them all twisted, this is the thing that really helps me a lot. I put the wires together, I take a piece of that electrical wire, and I wrap it around like this so the wires are held next to each other. That prevents them from unbraiding that twist. Then I go ahead and put my electrical nut here and twist in the same direction I was twisting. And when I get that all done and nice and tight, then I take that other piece of electrical tape and take it around the lip like this. And that holds it so it isn't going to unwind or do anything. And that's what you get when you get done. And that is going to last a lifetime. Now you can see I have all of my wires capped and taped and I'm ready to lift the housing onto the sleeve on the mounting bracket. Now you can see I have two exposed screws on both sides of the mounting bracket. What I'll do now is take the motor housing, lift it, slide it into the keyed slots and turn slightly clockwise, locking it in, and then I will tighten those screws and add the two screws that I removed and tighten all four of them. There I have it, all snugged in, all four screws. Just a tip, you might want to get someone to help you with this. I did it alone. I'm 70 years old now and uh, it's a little much to be doing that. Holding it up and finding those screws and then twisting it in while you have wires trying to pop out on the edges. It's not an easy trick for one person, so I suggest maybe getting some help. Now I'm going to put the decor decorative trim between the fan housing and the ceiling to cover up that black strip. With these decorative strips, they just kind of pop in. They don't go over this in the instruction manual, but you have these little pieces of two-sided sticky tape. I would assume they're going to go here and here on both pieces and then they'll be stuck around the motor housing. The next step is to insert the fan blade through the slot and then take the tiny metal plates that have three holes in them, line them up with the three holes in the fan blade and put three of the tiny screws through there and cinch them in good and tight. Do that on all three blades now. So if we look up at the fan now, there's one, two, three screws. Instructions say loosen two of the screws and remove one entirely because we're going to take and put this mounting plate up in there and you can see that these two openings are keyed. Those will go over the loosened screws and rotate and lock it in and then you will tighten in the last screw when you're done. Here is what the mounting plate should look like after it's installed. Notice I've pulled down the electrical wire for the lights and it is keyed so there's only one way to plug those lights into that. So right here you're going to find an error in the instructions books because it says to hook up 
the red to white and the black to the black. And you'll notice we don't have that. We just have a black and a white wire and it has a corresponding keyed end that plugs into this. I have loosened quite a bit these two screws, remove this one, and much like in the last instruction, what I'm going to do first is plug this in, make sure it's good and tight, and then move these keyed holes into their proper position. And then when I get them in there, I'll turn slightly so they kind of lock in. And after I've done that, I can take my screwdriver and tighten these in. And then the last one that I left out, I will tighten that in. So there's one. There's two, good and tight. And then here comes number three on the back side. There it is. And I'll take it right up in there. And then I'll go back to these ones that I just loosened, snug them up. And we're good to go on that. So the last step we have here is to take this glass shade, set it in here, and turn it. It says clockwise, but I guess I'm turning counterclockwise. There we go. We're all complete. Low speed. Medium speed and high speed. Light off, light on.